Is that for me? You want eggs? <coughs> you don't eat egg yolks. I eat, I eat one egg per day. Or avocados or bagels. She wants one. Yeah, but she can't have it because she's shitting all over the house. Oh my god. Now when Kelsey said that, I'm gonna start this video on a different note. This little creature here... <laughs> bro, it has been like two or three days. No, even more probably. Like it has been like, yeah. The cheese shitting all around the place. Like since we moved in that house. Like, but like, diarrhea shit. So it's like, you can't even pick it up literally. So it has been a nightmare. This morning I was going to the restroom 3 a.m without obviously I'm sleeping barefoot right so I stepped into the freaking shit three in the morning I don't even know where I'm at what's my name so I needed to like wash my feet then I came back in the room stepped again because it's dark so it has been a really nice then she, Kelsey leaves at work and I stay here I'm editing the videos after 30 minutes I turn around everything around me I can't walk because it's bombs all around yeah, ask, I'm asking for advice, what to do. Yeah, actually, Kelsey said maybe you should ask for advice. Maybe I have some followers, we have a Shih Tzu. Bro, this is not a topic for a YouTube video, but let me know if you have something, if you have video dogs and you have like some tips what to do to get them back to normal because it's, I don't want to clean anymore. Anyways, uh, it has been like now every day that I pick the camera and, uh, and I film something. Today I might show you full day of eating actually since, I don't know, but, if you watch the previous video, we got we assembled that uh, office desk and we got the grill and we got the treadmill. So today I'm definitely gonna assemble the treadmill. It's still early morning. I'm Kelsey's still at home, so I'm gonna I'm drinking my well I drank my coffee. That means I need to leave. Once this is empty, that that means we are leaving to do our cardio. No need to show your whole morning routine. Last two videos literally filmed the whole morning routine and everything. This morning, go do my cardio. Show you the breakfast assembling the the treadmill girls morning routine is done everything is ready to go prepare my meal and since we are today actually exactly six weeks out I will be showing you today my current diet adjustments since we started with this week's diet I already dropped like three pounds and before that nothing moved and I'm definitely now seeing this out this is the point as I already said I will say next two weeks from now my body's gonna be stage ready in the next two weeks so give me 15 days and that's gonna be it i see every morning now the new progress new lines etc etc so i'm excited for that but anyways uh, let me tell you fast two plates on the first one we have a uh, uh, two slices of a honey wheat toast with a 70 grams of avocado i put it on the toast we have a one whole egg and on the second plate we have a 280 grams of uh, egg whites and we have a 50 grams of a spinach use some condiments sweet chili uh, mr taste and uh seasoned with uh pink salt and uh, garlic powder garlic powder is my go-to always so the calories and macros for the first meal I'm gonna be listed on the screen avocado toast is golden i want to see your comments what is your favorite breakfast in off season i can start trying some of those what is your favorite breakfast comment down below oh yeah all right guys before i start assembling that big ass machine i recently didn't talk about this too much but behind the scenes even traveling to UK, moving and everything, we've been working really, really hard to change the game in a bodybuilding industry as far as concerned, competition wear. So these are pre-final samples right now in front of me. So I actually need to go through that because uh, my business partner and Kelsey just texted me in the group that I need to put the new laces and try them out. Look at this beautiful, this one, black ombre, one, ombre style. 
absolutely amazing manifest on the back we have way more these are just some samples i already sent to alex uh a lot more colors and everything so he has other colors then we have this purple one as you can see also love it manifest on the back then we have these gray ones which i do also really like gray with the blue manifest on the back the quality also besides that the quality of this is by far by far the best in the industry the best design plus the best quality and i have these with me and i also have a black with the yellow ones uh, i don't know where i put them but um really really nice i'm so excited for this business venture guys me and my partner business partner and my coach and one of my best friends alex toplin we are starting it's called manifest competition where it's gonna be a bodybuilding company first we started with the board shorts but obviously over time we're gonna have a classic trunks right we're gonna have a oversized things for a tanning underwear slides and everything so it's pretty much uh you know competition there for now we are really focused on the board shorts because i know with this new board shorts we're gonna change the game i'm telling you guys i promise you guys whoever competes everyone's gonna wear our board shorts you're gonna see really soon on olympia stage people wearing our board shorts because there is no doubt we're gonna change the game as far as concerned that so i'm really excited so what i need to do right now is pretty much to we got a new laces so i need to swap them and i need to send the measurements try them out send the measurements and uh that's pretty much it for today uh what i need to do from my side everything is back in the works website is in design we've been working on this for longer than a year right now and trust me this is a nothing special so it's not like you know complicated things and we be still working so long and the reason that being is that we really want to provide the best possible product on the market everything needs to be perfected we went already to so many samples i can't even explain you guys and this is pre-final sample so now the next one that arrives is going to be a final we are ordering the bull quarter and hopefully uh first launch is going to be around the summer uh, may was the plan but do the chinese new year's eve uh, it's gonna be a little bit postponed so probably like end of June or something we can count on that which is also my birthday so I just can't wait so I'm gonna deal with this right now for a second and uh, then go to do a treadmill but as time is flying up pretty soon I'm gonna eat uh, I'm gonna need to eat the next meal so yeah I'll catch you in a moment all right honestly guys just to move this shit here into my room it took me quite a bit I got out of the bread so first things first unpack this we have a good and the bad news uh bad news that took me quite a bit to unfold all of this from the box honestly it has so much shit and to get rid of the boxes cut the boxes that took me like 35 minutes at least and uh, now my injury that i had hurts again just kind of screwed second bad thing you're probably not gonna be able to see or you will, as you can see, my nose looks like a Rudolph. What your boy did is that I didn't read the instructions. So the lower part where is the hydraulics was kind of wrapped up firmly, firmly with a, like those handcuffs that you put, artificial handcuffs. So I cut it with a knife and that hydraulics jumped and hit me literally in the freaking nose. It almost knocked me out. I wish I filmed that because that was one of the dumbest shit I ever did in my life and I have a photo shoot for a new sponsor tomorrow and now my nose looks like a Rudolph so freaking great those are bad news the good news is that actually doesn't have a lot of pieces to be honest there is more on the table but it doesn't have a lot it doesn't seem so long desk yesterday took me way longer in the previous video you can watch but it took me probably way longer because it had so many pieces this one doesn't have but maybe I'm wrong so we'll see and it's actually pretty good sizing like it's not the wide as in the gym obviously right but it's pretty long and that's the most important I don't walk like this bro and uh, it seems really good quality honestly so we'll see we'll see let me give me a moment and I'll, and I'll catch you back moment of truth uh, it didn't take me so long to be honest 
Uh, the treadmill is assembled, looks perfect, fits perfect. I'm glad actually that it's not bigger. Uh, it actually looks really nice. And it comes with a high rain monitor also, which is like a whoop. I'm wearing whoop anyways. But uh, this one you can see our hard way, just put it around the hand I'm charging it right now. So that's kind of a cool part. But uh, I assembled everything, I hope I did a good job. Now we're gonna plug it in the electricity. And it's on. Oh, let's go. This actually looks fire. So, damn, this is actually pretty like, nice. I mean, I'm surprised. This is from Amazon, not expensive at all if you wonder. Uh, but um, let's try. I'm usually doing 10 incline and um, I do 3.4 speed. Also, there is an app. I can connect to the app and adjust everything over the app. I already installed my phone. But incline, we need to like put an incline definitely. I think on the 15 as high as possible. 15 goes. I think that's gonna match kind of uh, what I usually do. You know what? It's actually pretty good, I like it. For a gym, for a home one, waking up and just doing this can be better. This is how it looks here. Let me just not fall. Okay. And then you have this cool ass monitor. I can put my tablet here, which I will do, or phone, as you can see, and watch something on YouTube. The window is right here, so I can open the window when I'm sweating. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Alright guys, pre-workout meal, I think it's gonna be pre-workout meal, I do have a still feedback to send for a, for a board shorts and everything, but I, I think I will go work out today, uh, yesterday, when last video that you watched, I kind of work out later, and I didn't sleep so good because of caffeine and everything, so uh, with that said, pre-workout meal is ready, uh, so meal, plate number, you know, in, you, you know me, you know that I always need eat on a, two plates at least, 93.7 beef from Megafit uh, code is gonna be on the screen or direct link. If you can reuse my code for Megafit meals, you can only use once my code, but if you go over my link, affiliate link, and type any code to discount code or anything, you will always get a discount and I will also, it will support me at the same time. It's kind of weird, but that's what they told me. So uh, 170 grams of 93.7 Megafit beef, some mustard on the top, sweet chili, then on the other plate, we have a, a 250 grams of a red potato, 80 grams of asparagus. That's actually the only meal that stayed the same uh, during this drop of a food. I'll show you the calories and macros in the end of the day. But uh, it is what it is, you know, the, the results are coming in. So next week, I, I bet we're gonna have even lower and then we start like, gonna, you know, eating more and more. So I just need to go through this big face kind of suffer a little bit and go back uh, my meal is getting cold so it's time to eat calories and macros for this one gonna be listed on the screen i'll catch you on uh either next meal either pre-workout concoction later all right guys fast uh usual routine pre-workout concoction i decided i will go now because i'm getting really hungry and that's that's the main reason pretty much so today's choice is gonna be again all out cherry limeade we have a bag day heavier day then we go always all out but today i will not put the full scoop which will be 400 milligrams i'm gonna put a little bit less so it's gonna be around 350. i just like the all out because it has extended version of a caffeine so 100 milligrams of caffeine pretty much extends longer and that's why even like putting the half of the scoop is better for me than the normal one but sometimes actually it's 50 50. i'm not gonna lie two scoops of uh, pump peach because last time I mixed cherry lime with the peach ended up being fire so we're gonna do the same and right now 
I'm still all about those flavors and tastes because I'm craving the food. I've been eating exactly the same things all the time. And a one scoop of a creatine from Evogen. Kelsey's with them called Kelsey. That's gonna be it for my pre-workout. And then in this hydro jug that I always have, you already also know, Ghost Aminos. We have a strawberry kiwi, Ghost Aminos and hydration. Code Dorian, I think 25 or 20% off. I'm pretty tired, I'm not gonna lie, today it's hitting me again. But uh, we have a bag day, last two videos you sh I showed you the full workout, so today I will finally not bring the camera and focus on my workout, but tomorrow we're gonna film the shoulder day. So catch you on the post-workout meal. You little monster, pooping monster. Stop pooping all around. Can you stop pooping? Excuse me? You're uncomfortable? Say to the audience what you do. You poop all the time. You poop all the time, that's not good. Yeah, hide. I mean, you know where to find me. You know how it goes. Okay, just came back from the workout. I wanna say a couple of things. First and foremost, it's funny how on the prep you find a purpose, right? And your, your only purpose is to pretty much finish the day finish your meals and have a good workout. And uh, there's nothing like important around that, unfortunately. But you do have a purpose and with all, with all of that said, pretty much everything else connects and you're more productive. I don't know how to explain. Since you have exactly goals, you know how the, you know timings, your timings and everything, it's way easier to actually finish things and stuff like that, even though you're extremely exhausted, extremely tired, but you know you gotta do it because now you're on a prep, when you're not on prep, if you feel bad some days, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a rest day, listen to your body. When you're on the prep, you don't have that privilege. Like, you gotta go, you gotta push through. And that's what I like about the prep. That's why I like to be on prep, etc. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm not so big. But if you don't get a pro card this year, I was thinking now on this kind of workout, it was going through my head. Uh, I will do one more long, long off season, like a year long off season, bulking season. And then we're gonna, you know, step on stage and get what's ours. So it's it's not important. We're gonna enjoy life. Right now we're focused to finish everything. And we did a good workout. Actually, it was pretty solid workout. I did a back and biceps. Uh, and um, And uh, yeah, also I didn't show you morning physique or anything. I kind of didn't think about it today because I didn't know what to film. My weight this morning was around 204. Uh, being six weeks out, I'm definitely heavier than the last time. That's for sure. Also, with that said, I am definitely dropping weight slower than the last time. This time we are trying to keep as much as possible size while maybe risking a bit of a conditioning because my conditioning was never questionable. Even if I step 90% or 80% conditioned as I can be, I will still be probably one of the top five most conditioned people. Only goal right now is to step on stage fuller than the last time. If we do that, if everything went good, if everything goes good and I have a good pump on the stage, we have a pro card, there is no doubt. So with that said, weight going down slower than usual is definitely better. It's a good sign for now. And yeah, we'll see how it's gonna go, even though food is really low. So, talking about the food, uh, plain and simple, fast digestive, this digest through my body in a two minutes. This poor cooked jasmine rice, it may be look on a plate like a lot, but it's only 150 grams. It's really not a lot, guys. It's really not a lot, especially for me, this is extremely low. And then on the second plate, we have uh, 170 grams of a chicken with 80 grams of asparagus. Only good thing about right now is my protein is still high, so that kind of keeps me saturated and I do kind of have a little hack, which is the last meal that I'm gonna show you. And that's the only meal that kind of makes me feel full before the bed, so I actually sleep pretty good right now. Like, you're gonna see the calories in macros in the end of the day. For most of the people, that's like maintaining calories. For me, that's extremely low. I've never been so low. I don't remember last time I've been on this amount of calories, probably like, three years ago or something. It is what it is, we are just following the plan, executing day by day, counting the days 43 days out. We are 43, that's gonna pass by fast. So with that said, calories and macros for this meal, my boys and girls gonna be listed on the screen right now. 
Uh, I'm gonna obviously eat that meal fast. Sorry for yapping a lot. Catch you on the meal number two. What? Meal number four, my bad. Later. <laughs> Kelsey just came. And oh, I wanted to no. film the clip. Your life sucks. You should complain to somebody. Oh You're shit. For last meal, we're gonna eat quickly in like an hour, we're gonna hour, hour and a half we're gonna eat the last meal. Potatoes are still in the air fryer. We have only 170 grams of potatoes, so it's like a miserable amount, really small. 50 grams of lettuce that I still need to top on top of my beef. And we have a Mega Fit uh, Night V7 uh, beef, 170 grams. So as I said, proteins are only like, in the grams, they are still solid. That's the only thing. Other things are kind of suck. But after this one, we have the best meal of the day, which is kind of uh, volume-wise, the, the highest for sure. Calorie-wise, I don't think it's highest, but do the hacks that I have, definitely my favorite meal. That's the only meal that I'm actually looking forward to because it kind of saturates me a little bit on this prep so far. So. Calories and macros for this meal gonna be listed on the screen. One more meal to go. You probably can't see me. I still need to make two or three meal plans for my clients. So first part of the meal I have it right here, you can't see it, but it's gonna be rolling on the screen. That's my typical bowl of oatmeal, just a little bit different this time. So oatmeal didn't change actually, last meal also didn't change, thank God. So we have a, in this bowl 80 grams of uh, oats and we have 100 grams of uh, blueberries. So only those two, but to make it at least kind of tasty, I put inside some stevia and I put a skinny syrups, which I'm also by the way sponsored. Uh, code is gonna be on the screen, but um, those are coffee like syrups, zero everything, zero sugar, zero sodium, zero calories, everything. So I mix the flavors, for example, today I put the marshmallow, toasted marshmallow, and I top it with cinnamon. So pretty much that doesn't taste bad at all. And the second part, the, meal, the second part of the meal, which was supposed to be in this uh, one ghost, 30 grams of a ghost nut butter, 18 grams right now for peanut butter, a bit lower that as well. I literally make, made a creamy out of that. Just leave 200 milliliters of uh, almond milk, ghost peanut, nut butter whey, uh, peanut butter and uh, cashew milk and I mix it with the water and stevia. And it tastes amazing. I don't know if it's because of peanut butter, but it actually tastes amazing. But let me finish this meal. I'm gonna show you the creamy and wrap up the whole day pretty much. So catch you in a second. For dessert and the last meal but this is including the last meal so we have a creamy which I already told you it actually looks fire and it tastes really good I literally put three ingredients inside instead of putting in an oatmeal which will be the same volume I put separate as I already told you I put peanut butter I put uh, ghost nut butter and I put some stevia and I have actually once again just to show you what I was talking about skinny syrups but I have a peanut butter cup also flavor so I add on it literally tastes peanut buttery and it's way more kind of like thicker I think it's because of peanut butter I never put peanut butter in a in a creamy I'm actually gonna while I'm talking put it in a freezer uh, not to melt but um, it's actually way way uh, thicker just because of that I think because of the, the peanut butter inside kind of thickens it and I'm also since I had like that cold bowl of oatmeal and I have a ice cream right now I'm sipping on a chamomile tea also also makes me sleep better and this is what my girlfriend's gonna have for a dinner healthy really healthy nice and cookies 
<laughs> Doesn't matter, balance is life, balance. She's all about the balance. Uh, this is a new meal from Megafit. It's called Mr. Olympia, which is essentially Derek Lansford's. And I really like this one. She still didn't try it. I didn't try it. Yes, macros are 15 grams of fat, 52 carbs, and 43 protein. Pretty solid. It's like steak, three types of potatoes, and what a sauce is inside? I don't know how to say it. It's basically like that, like... Blueberry? No, it's like au jus sauce or whatever. Okay, yeah, like homemade. She orders actually uh, meals from Megafit all the time. And like she's really picky with the food. So what do you rate? Like you try, she tried actually all the companies, made like probably um, most of the companies. Every other meal prep company has been pretty bad. So how would you compare Megafit to? I like it. I eat it every day. Yeah. There you go. It's not even uh, because I'm with them. I actually also tried. She tried. She was. I don't know. I'm not gonna say other companies. Anyways, I don't she agree with it. like I've tried three or four like major companies. Yeah. That sponsor like huge athletes. Major. The shit. the biggest. Let's just say meal prep companies. <laughs> They all like sent her back to me too as well and I literally never ate it. So when it comes to food for me, like that's the most important. I don't care how much they pay me. If they pay me or anything, I just want to actually have a quality food and enjoy it. The Megafit meals, firstly, macros are great on every meal. Every other company has like at least 30 grams of fat per meal, which is like most of like, it's not good. Okay, it's a smaller meal, but way more calories, right? And less protein and everything. Megafit meals is always like up to 15 grams of fat, which also suits me. That's perfect. You can customize your own fully meals, just chicken and rice if you need, chicken, potatoes, whatever. Uh, and on top of that, you can also order in a bulk like I'm ordering right now when I'm on prep, just the beef, potatoes, chicken. So that's the, that's the easiest part and you just micro everything, that's, that's pretty much it. But my things is melting, so I'm gonna need to wrap up now the full calories and macros of uh, last meal gonna be because that was supposed to be included in the last meal, which is essentially the last meal. So fifth meal of the day and the calories and macros for the whole day gonna be this on the screen as I said it's not so low I think 25 or 2600 but last time I ate that amount of calories was like three years ago probably so I definitely feel it this week a lot I feel like I start feeling prep even like earlier than I expected and then I I believe next week we're gonna drop even more maybe with like one or two refeeds that's what I think knowing my body and so dig again next week even further and then, then I think I should be already pretty ahead of time so we can slowly start increasing calories that's what I'm looking for so gonna keep you updated tomorrow we have a new videographer coming stepping in which we're gonna try him out see how that goes also tomorrow I'm filming new company that I started working with and stuff like that I don't know so as you can see I'm right now uploading like every two days videos so I'm gonna try to keep as consistent as possible like it or not Kelsey what do you need to do like the video subscribe to the channel comment yeah, she said everything. See you on the next one.